Coming up on this episode of The Power of Real Estate. I don't want to hear vanilla answer. I want some chunky monkey. I want some rocky road. That's right. (laughs) She spent over 20 years as a successful realtor and realtor coach, recipient of over 40 sales, leadership, and literary awards. From the legendary music row in Nashville, this is The Power of Real Estate with Michelle Moore. Welcome. Today, we've got Amber Hurdle in the studio with us. She's going to be sharing three questions to ask when building your personal brand. All right, Amber, girl. (laughs) All right. For those of you that don't know her, she is a published author. She is really the personal branding go-to person, in my opinion, when it comes to if you are self-employed and really whatever the branding is that you're trying to to bring to what what you're doing and so with your business. So, Amber, welcome to the studio. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Tell us about your new book. Well, um, we're actually coming up on a year almost. October will be. It will be. I'm still calling it new, though. Yeah. Well, I guess the first year, it's, you know. That's right. still new. Still new. And shiny. Like a marriage. You know, the first year, you still get to celebrate newlyweds. You're still in that honeymoon. That's right. The author stage. (laughs) You know, I got off book tour, though, and I was like, back to work. Let's do this. So it's like behind me. But um, so it's called The Bombshell Businesswoman, uh, How to Become a Bold, Brave Female Entrepreneur. And even if you're a man, there are plenty of nuggets that you can get out of that. Um, you just have to look past references to like you know nail polish and Botox, and um, and I'm and I'm joking. It's a very um, serious book presented in a fun way. Serious information presented in a fun conversational way, um, and so that was just is an extension of my podcast, the Bombshell Business Podcast, and the whole Bombshell brand. Um, bombshell meaning bold, brave female entrepreneur. So. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. All right, so we're going to talk about three questions to ask when building your personal brand. You ready, Amber? I am. All right, honey. So number one. What problem specifically do you solve? Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear a general answer. I don't want to hear a vanilla answer. I want some chunky monkey. I want some rocky road. I want some moose tracks answer very specifically. You heard me say I help female entrepreneurs become more bold, brave, unwaveringly confident. That's what I do. Yes. There's lots of ways that I do that, but that is what I do. Yes. Okay. That's good. Can you give me an example for, let's say, a real estate investor or a real estate agent? Give me some, give me an, uh, an industry and give it, let's give it an example. Yeah. So if you are, um, if you're somebody who creates deals for real estate investors, then you solve the problem of accessible wealth. I mean, that, that is a real estate, as we know, is a fantastic way to invest and build wealth. And there aren't as many barriers. You don't have to go through stockbrokers like that is your property, um, your deal that you're putting together. Mm -hmm. And so if somebody is interested in having more control over their future finances, that is um, a very specific way that you solve a problem. Okay. All right. So we're talking with Amber Hurdle. She is a published author and has three questions to ask when building your personal brand. So we just covered the first one. What's number two, Amber? The second one is who do you do it for specifically? And this is where a lot of people get stuck because they want to, I'll say, well, who's your ideal customer? Um, well, she's, you know, between 18 and 55 and I'm like, honey. (laughs) (laughs) Women. They'll say women. (laughs) Yeah, women. Like anybody who will buy from me. No, (laughs) ma'am. That is not, that is not it. If you cannot, and we've, we've, I know you and I have talked about this in many different venues, but if you cannot specifically say who it is that you're trying to sell to, you are going to sell to no one. If you're trying to sell to everyone, you will sell to no one. Yes. When people read my book that I get cards in the mail, Michelle, I get emails. I get messages on social media and they say, I cried when I read your book because the first three chapters are about my journey as a a teen mom um, evolving into a businesswoman. And I I knew you you wrote that just for me. You wrote that just for me. How did you do that? It is because I decided specifically the type of woman that I was writing that book for. So if you are trying to influence or sell somebody um, and do that through your own personal brand where people are going to say a very specific thing about you if you're not in the room, then you have to um, identify not only what problem you're solving, but who you're solving it for specifically. So where do they shop? Yes, yes. Where, what, you know, how old uniquely are they? Because if you're talking about 18 to 55, now you are going from um, Gen Z, you've got millennials in there, you've got um, Gen Xers in there, and then I think the lower part of baby boomers. So that's way too many types of 
personalities that you're trying to, to yeah, influence. Yeah. Well, and, uh, you know, like in sales, I always say confused minds say no. Mm-hmm. So going back to, you know, being a, a published uh, author, so my book, Selling Simplified, when you look at the subtitle, it's, you know, 55 Fast Tips to Jumpstart Your Real Estate Business. So when someone picks the book up and they're a real estate agent, they don't wonder if it's for them or not. Confused minds will say no. Mm-hmm. And so that's why you have to tell people exactly who you're trying to appeal to, who you're helping, what, what, what is your market. And you might have various markets. Like I also have, as you know, a luxury um, hospitality market. I, yes. I work with, you know, I just left Perry Lane Hotel in Savannah. It's the first five-star hotel um, that Savannah's ever had. And and so I obviously will market to that demographic very, very differently than I'm going to my bombshells. Yes, absolutely. All right. So we're talking with Amber Hurdle. We're talking about three questions to ask when building your personal brand. We just covered the second one. So Amber, what's number three? How do you solve your problem differently? So differently from the competition. And when I hear things like, well, we have exceptional customer service. (laughs) If you don't have good customer service, like you shouldn't be in the game. expected. Yeah. Like that's, that's baseline. Like how do you do it differently? So um, I tell real estate agents, I'm like, if you're just saying you're going to put you're going to put it in real tracks and or MLS and you're going to put a sign of the yard, well, all that kind of stuff is expected anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, what else are you doing and how are you differentiating yourself? So what you're saying really is how are you doing it different mm-hmm. and what you know, that's going to help you stand out. So if you are exceptional with digital marketing, with SEO, with um, maybe you have targeted uh, Facebook ads that you do on behalf of your customers, then that's something that the average real estate agent is not going to be skilled in. Um, If you are very specific that you um, help relocate military families and you have Mm -hmm. a background in um, either being a military wife or you are in the military, then that is a key differentiator that would make somebody that is your very specific audience want to work with you as opposed to whoever they go to church with, go to the gym with. I mean... You, especially in an industry, you cannot allow yourself to be a commodity in an industry where there are tons of people just like you, especially in a hot market right now. Like it's a good time for real estate right now, but it's also not a great time for real estate agents because everybody and their donkey has decided to get their license. Yeah. They're either a real estate uh, agent or they're a mortgage broker. Yeah. 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 (laughs) And I hear a lot like, well, I'm a full-time agent. You'll get full-time service. And I'm like, honey, there are a lot of full-time agents out there. That's right. Try again. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And so how do you stand out? Now, one of the things that I have found in this, you know, specifically talking about this kind of thing is agents a lot of times feel like if they specialize specialize, uh, then what happens is they feel like they're cutting out business. Nope. But what they don't realize is that this is a great way to be able to really increase your business. I really only deal mainly with uh, investors and builders, new home construction. And so uh, builders will call me or investors will call me and say, hey, I was speaking to such and so investor that you help. And they said, oh, my goodness, don't waste your time with anyone else. She's she's the one. Right. And so that's the kind of uh, reputation you'll get if you're specializing in something. So there are so many different specialties. I think I have a list for a class that I did that I wrote up and it's got, I want to say like 60 or 70. I mean, it can be log homes. It can be lake homes. It can be on the ocean front homes. If you're, you know, in Florida on the beach, there are so many different things. It can be condos that are downtown high end or whatever. So, but that won't disappoint know. that like people are still going to refer business to you. They're going to yes. know specifically what you're best at, but they're not going to say, oh, but she doesn't do that. So, you know, don't, don't call her because Like, for example, with me, I I obviously target a lot of my businesses service providers. So gyms, plastic surgeons, we have day spas and salons and all, you know, coaches and, you know, all different types of people, real estate agents, lawyers. I've spent lots of time in the past month with the International Cowgirl of the Year. Mm -hmm. She's not attracted to lipstick and high heels and some of the stuff that I use. But what she was attracted to is that I knew my stuff. She knew that I was going to help her get from where she is to where she wants to go. Yes. And she looks past all of that. And at the core, her values align with my values. So I, I just want to be clear that because you're being very specific about what problem you solve, who you solve it for specifically, and how you do it differently, you're not going to leave people out. Yeah. And so if a buyer calls you and says that they, let's say you are uh, specializing in new construction, and a buyer calls you or a seller calls you and says they want to list their existing property, let's say that example, you know, you're not going to say no 
and and if you're not like I have buyers that will call me and I'm not I don't that's not my jam at all and so I'll say you know look let me help you let me refer you to someone mm-hmm. well even if I'm not going to personally help them I can still get a referral fee right and so by doing great in what you're doing then you're still going to get those referrals and you can decide which ones you're going to personally take care of that are outside of that specialty and your network's going to love you for those referrals yes so now exactly. you're building your business because yes. they're going to refer back to you and they're yes. going to trust you and you're going to keep building those relationships with other agents and so um, that's all good stuff right right and I just say hey look I, I don't enjoy taking buyers out uh, it's not my thing and uh, and I'll just say you know oh, and I don't usually tell buyers that what I tell to, to say to buyers is look I don't really uh, do that with my business I don't take buyers out but I'll tell you what I've got an agent that really that's what she does and uh, let me um, have her call you Let's get you with the right person, Mm -hmm. you know, so and then I get a referral fee. I'm still making a little bit of money just off of the relationships and the excellent service that I do provide with my raving fans. And so all good stuff. Great advice and great insight. Amber, how can someone get in touch with you? Well, you could go to my website, um, amberhurdle.com. You can find everything from the book to the podcast, the blog, all the good jams. And then you can also text 72000, text the word AMBER, A-M-B-E-R, and I can send you the Bombshell Businesswoman personality quiz, and that um, will give you some insight into your strengths and weaknesses and um, how you can leverage your strengths and mitigate your weaknesses and um, get some other good information to help you build that personal brand. I think I'm going to do that today. (laughs) (laughs) See if I pass or fail. (laughs) Well, you know me. So my big thing with personal branding is if you just become more of who you already are, if you just step into the greatness that you've already been gifted with, then everybody, the right people and opportunities will come to you. So just do you. That's so good. All right. And if you got any real estate related questions, comments, or compliments, you can always email them to us at Michelle at Real Estate Coaching Simplified.com. And by the way, if you haven't heard, there's a brand new national uh, designation for real estate agents. It's called the RESP designation. Um, the RESP stands for Real Estate Selling Professional. I am the creator and the author of the program. I'm excited about this course, by the way. Check out the details. You can always visit Real Estate Coaching Simplified.com. Click on the real estate coaching simplified.com and at the top there's resp in the upper right hand corner and we'll see you next week on the power of real estate with michelle moore realtors if you're ready for the latest tools scripts and techniques visit real estate coaching simplified.com we'll see you next time on the power of real estate with michelle moore